In the last video, we talked about polynomial division. In this one, we're going to take that same basic concept and streamline it. We call this process synthetic division, and really all it is is kind of a slick, quick way of doing the same thing as we were doing with polynomial division. Now, there is a limitation here. We can only divide by x plus or minus a number. But honestly, in the last video, that was all I did with the polynomial division as well. So it's not that big a thing. It just ends up being the easiest kind of problems can be made even quicker using synthetic division. I'm going to be going back and forth a bunch here. So there's sort of two parts. There's a setup step. And then there's the process we go through to do the synthetic division. So let's take a look at the first problem we did in the last video. We're going to be dividing x to the fourth plus 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 9x plus 4 by x plus 4. The first thing is we create a box and in it we write the opposite sign of the number with x in the part we're dividing by. So we're dividing by x plus 4 here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a box. The number is plus 4, but in my box I write the opposite sign. I write a negative 4. The basic idea here is that in the last one, when we were doing the polynomial division, we would multiply stuff out and then change the sign. Kind of by changing the sign up front here, we're going to be multiplying by this over and over again, and it just sort of cuts a step out of the process. So the next thing is across the top, we're going to write the coefficients of what we're dividing into. So I'm dividing into the x to the fourth plus 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus 9x plus 4. So coefficient of x to the fourth, well, that's a 1. A 4x cubed is obviously a 4, then a 2 then a 9, and I'm even going to write that 4 down as well. I didn't write it in my steps, but I'm going to draw a line across like this, leaving a little bit of space for a number in there. Now we get into the actual process of doing this. The first thing, the first number just gets dragged straight down. 1 comes down here, done. Then, Multiply whatever number I just wrote by the number in the box, and I put it up into the right in the next column. So I take a negative 4 times 1 is a negative 4. I'm going to write it right there. Then all I do is in that column, I add negative 4 plus 4 gives me a 0. And now, just like when we were doing the long division with polynomials, we're going to go ahead and just keep repeating those steps over and over again until we run out of space. Negative 4 times 0 is 0. Then I add 2 plus 0 is 2. Negative 4 times 2 is a negative 8. 9 plus a negative 8 gives me a 1. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Add gives me a 0. Great, so I end up with this. What does it mean? Well, if you compare to the problem we did with this before, we got x to the third plus 0 plus 2x plus 1. These 0, 2, 2, 1, 0, 2, 1 is just those coefficients. So what happens, that first number is always the coefficient of the power 1 less than what we were dividing into. So I have a 1 x cubed. And then from there, we keep going down by one power each time, just like a polynomial normally does. So I've got a 0 x squared. I won't bother writing that down. One lower than that would be an x. So I've got a 2 x. One lower than that would be x to the 0, or just giving us a constant of 1 and then our remainder of zero. And if we remember, in the last one, last time we did the same problem, it divided in evenly, there was no remainder. 
So let's do this with this one. Again, this is the other problem we did in the last video. And I'm going to set it up the same way. I'm going to create a box. Opposite sign of a 1 is a negative 1. And then I write my coefficients across the top. So I start with a negative 3. Now, just like before, we've got to be kind of careful here. There isn't an x squared here. Because there isn't an x squared, we're still going to put that there's an x squared with a coefficient of 0. A negative x, that means x has a coefficient of negative 1. A constant of negative 5. I draw my line across. Then the first step, bring the first number straight down. So my negative 3 comes straight down. And then, repeatedly, we multiply by the number in the box, then add. Negative 1 times negative 3 is a positive 3. We add and get a positive 3. Negative 1 times 3 is a negative 3. We add, we get a negative 4. Negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. We add, we get a negative 1. And then, interpreting those results, we start with a power 1 less than we were dividing into. We were dividing into an x cubed thing. So this is a negative 3x squared. And then keep going, marching down the powers. 3x minus 4. We got a remainder of negative 1. So that's plus a negative 1 over the thing we were dividing by. So negative 1 over x plus 1. Just in general, this is much, much faster, mainly because it involves less writing than the bit long division we were doing before. It's all the same steps, just kind of in a condensed format that makes doing it much, much quicker.